In the final video of this series, I'll walk you through balancing a wheel. Let's get started. Balancing a wheel is pretty straightforward. Start by securing the wheel with the proper cone and wheel clamp. Next we need to take a set of measurements that we'll input into the machine. The three measurements we care about are the distance, diameter, and essentially the width of the wheel. If you've got ideas for other videos you'd like to see, please leave a comment below and like and subscribe to stay updated when we upload new videos. To find the distance value, we use the built-in ruler and measure to the inside wheel face. Use a set of wheel calipers to measure the wheel breadth. It's probably worth mentioning that the value of this is not always the same as the width of your wheel. Finally, input the diameter of your wheel. Now that we have all our values input, we can start the balancer. Make sure you have the right mode selected. Once the balancer has run its cycle, it'll tell you where to place your weights. Rotate the wheel until all of the LEDs are lit up. Then, you'll want to place the weights at the top of the wheel. Remember, the location of where you place the weights will depend on the mode that you've set. Here you can see we'll need to place 3 quarters of an ounce on the inside of the wheel. The outside of the wheel is in balance. The vertical LED indicators next to the wheel weight values will show you where you need to place the wheel weights. Here's another angle of where I'm placing the weights. Make sure the area you're going to apply the weights to has been thoroughly cleaned. All right, this wheel's done. Let me walk you through another wheel where we have to place weights in multiple locations. Again, we'll start a cycle. Here you can see the inside is going to need three quarters of an ounce. The outside is going to need a half an ounce. Notice as I rotate the wheel with my hand, the LEDs all light up and I know the weights need to be placed at the top of the wheel. Personally, I try to avoid long strips of wheel weights. In a situation like this where I've got three quarters of an ounce that needs to be placed, I like to place the first half ounce and then center and stack the remaining quarter ounce on top of the existing weights. All right, that's it. Finish up the rest of your wheels and enjoy your perfectly balanced wheels. Until next time.